Hey there, it's E Squared. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily. And we are here to keep things simple and fun. Are you sick of looking up Pinterest poses and trying to memorize them for your session? Well, we're here to teach you some simple and effective ways to pose your senior girls or any female for that matter. Also, watch all the way till the end because we have a special surprise that we've put together just for you. We promise to have you entering your next photo session confident and at ease when you're posing your senior girls. For the best photography tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications for future videos. All right, so we're just gonna get started. And our biggest piece of advice when it comes to posing senior girls is just think simple. We overwhelmed ourselves way too much in the beginning and thought we had to have all of these poses memorized and couldn't handle it. It stressed us out. So our advice is to think simple. Your goal is to just make your senior girl look her absolute best and that is it. Keep it simple. So we like to keep our senior girls in one stance and then do three to five, sometimes even more variations. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. And we like to call this the top model posing system. The reason we call it top models, because of course, top models have one position, one outfit, same location maybe even, and they're varying up where they're looking, how their arms are, where they put their arms, what they do with their hair, but they're staying in one spot. So that's how we like to keep it simple is the top model posing system. And so another thing I wanna talk about too is when you are uh, modeling, before you start putting your senior in the positions, let them know ahead of time that they're going to be in the same pose, maybe hands on hips, whatever, for quite some time because they're gonna change up their facial expressions and stuff. So then they don't feel like, okay, now what do I do? Now what do I do? And then they get out of the pose. So just let them know ahead of time, you're gonna be kind of stuck in the same spot for quite some time. And so one of the things that we really like to do is, although we're not the best at it always, but we like to model the position for them and actually show them where they put their arm, where they put their leg, how they're gonna turn their head, maybe how they're gonna lean forward a little bit, whatever it might be, we like to model it for them. And then all along the way, probably the most important piece, encourage them every step of the way. That encouragement lets them be confident and just be themselves, which is exactly what you want when you're capturing those photos. Yes. Constantly be talking to them, letting them know they're doing a good job. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so step one, you are going to start out by figuring out, are you gonna have them stand? Are you gonna have them sit? Are you gonna have them walk and do some movement? Or are you gonna have them lay on their belly, squat? Figure out that first. That's the very first thing you wanna figure out. And then from there, things are gonna get a little bit better. So as far as standing goes, if you look at these pictures here, these are some of our seniors, you notice that in all of the pictures, we always have some pop in a knee of some sort. Um, variation of, you're basically gonna just think about, you put them in standing, now let's figure out what to do with their feet, okay? You could have a foot behind, a foot in front, you could have toes together, we really like that pose, their toes are completely together and at a 45 degree angle from, um, from the camera, and that gives a really nice look on them, but worry about feet, what do you want the feet to look like? Don't think about hands, don't think about the face, anything yet, just think about the feet that you're gonna have them in when they're standing. All right, the next stance could be a sitting pose. And so for sitting pose, again, you can vary it up in so many ways, but we're not even thinking about the arms, we're not thinking about the eyes, the head at all yet. So keep in mind, you're just thinking about the stance, the base stance that you're putting them in. So you could have them crisscross applesauce, remembering if you model it to them and show them how it is, it's gonna make it so much easier. You could be have them hug their knees. You could have them just hug one knee. Uh, you could even have them knock their knees together, like you see Abby here sitting in the chair, which we absolutely love that pose on uh, senior girls is when they knock their knees together. But we do know that if you model it to them, they understand it a lot more than you just saying, like, put your knees together. Um, or you could just have maybe one leg in, one leg out. So there's a lot of different ways that you can have them sitting, especially if it's a nice dry day and the ground isn't wet and you can actually have them in a sitting pose for once. Okay, and then the other options are you could have them squatting. That can be cute depending on how you put them. 
um, laying on their belly is always really cute and flattering and you can do a lot with that. And then also movement. So having them walk is a really good thing as well. That's one of our favorites for sure. Yes. And a quick tip for that, you have them walk super slow so your camera can keep up. So again, keeping it back to your main goal is to keep it simple. So are they going to sit? Are they going to stand? Are they going to lay? Are they going to squat? Figure out that first stance. And from there, you can have so many more options and flexibility. So keeping it simple. And you're going to keep them in that stance for quite some time because there's a lot of variation you can do in that stance, which is the good uh, the plus to posing this way so you don't have so much going on in your head. You're going to keep them in that one stance. So comment below right now, guys, with your biggest struggle when it comes to posing. What is it? Because we've had many. Okay, so now you've put them in their stance. Step two is to think about their arms and their hands and what they're going to be doing with those. So some ideas of um, how they could put their arms are um, they can put them on their hips, they could gra be grabbing their elbows, which is really cute, and uh, Miss Alexa is doing that here. As you can see, she's grabbing her elbows. They could grab one arm. They could grab their wrist. They could put one or two arms above their head. That can look really nice. Or just doing some motion with their arms as they're walking or even standing and just moving them around. It can give a cute look as well. With your hands, things you could do is you can grab your collarbone just very gently Grab your hair, and you can do that in many different ways. You can grab your hair up here. You can give it a little boost. You can grab it on this side. <laughs> My hair is getting crazy. There's a lot you can do, and plus, girls, the senior girls look really nice. You can that. grab your hair on this side, or you can reach over and grab it on this side. So there's so many little pieces where, again, thinking about keeping them in that same stance, but just varying it up just like that. There's been three poses. Yep. Um, if they have jewelry on or a scarf on or a jacket on, they can grab onto that. Um, they can use their pockets to put their hands in their back pockets or if they have a coat with pocket. I mean, just so much stuff. They, they can um, grab towards their ankle if they're squatting. That can be a really cute one. So many different ideas. And I know this seems overwhelming right now, but just, just kind of as you have them in their stance, think, okay, where are they going to put their hands and where are they going to put their arms, which I would assume that their hands would go with their <laughs> arms. Um, but just remember, so much they could do just with even just the hair. Okay. So keeping it simple, that is step two. Okay, so again, remember you have them in your stance and you can just vary it up from there. So we talked about the arms and now we're going to talk about the eyes and the lips. So now you, sorry. So now you have them in their stance, their arms are where they need to be. Now you're going to worry completely about the face. So we're kind of working our way up in a way. So when it comes to the lips, if we start there, um, we always tend to ask our senior girls, especially if they want serious, soft smile, smile. And most of them say, oh, a little bit of both. We sometimes have some that say absolutely no serious. It's just not who I am. Um, so we try to vary it up. So if we have them in one pose, everything is set. We tend to almost always do okay, smile. All right, let's see a soft smile. All right, now let's go serious. If they liked all three of those options, just gives them a lot more options in their gallery at the end of the whole um, experience. So um, keeping that in mind, they can do a lot of different things with just that. Um, and actually, I shouldn't say a lot. They can do three different things. They could do a soft smile, be serious, or smile. Oh, or giggle. Giggle. That's our favorite. That is our favorite. So um, giggling is awesome and yeah. So okay. a lot of a lot of times with the giggles, we have them giggle off to a friend that's there, or one of us will step aside, or whatever, or we'll point with our finger, giggle over there for me, and and they usually do a pretty good job at it, and those are usually their favorite pictures. They are their favorite, and another thing, like we have said before, modeling it. So modeling the giggle, so they're not like you're asking me to giggle like right now. I have nothing to giggle about. So we always we try to make them laugh, try to keep it funny, but we also just show them like what would a natural giggle look like. Right. Okay, so that's the lips. What about the eyes? So the eyes can do a lot of different things as well. It can look straight at the camera. Um, we tend to use sometimes our step ladder just to um, open up their eyes a little bit. So if we're shooting down at them, they have to look up at us and it opens up their eyes a little bit. So those seniors maybe who have smaller eyes that don't open up so nicely all the time, um, we use that little trick. 
Otherwise, we have them looking off camera, sometimes looking down at their hands, whatever it might be, especially if their makeup's done really well. Sometimes we like to have them look down just so we can see that on camera or they could at least have that choice in their gallery. And when you, when you want them to look off camera, which a lot of times we do that again with our giggle because that looks really nice, it really helps to either like say giggle over to that tree and point towards it or if you don't really have much around you, put your finger where you want them to giggle towards. So like giggle over here, over here now, you know what I mean? So then they're not, you're not like, okay, giggle away. They're gonna be like, you know what I mean? You want them to giggle at a certain spot, <laughs> okay? So that is step three. Okay, so just to kind of recap things, step one is you're going to figure out what pose they're going to be in. Step two, figure out what you want them to do with their arms and their hands. Okay, and soft fingers with their hands are always a really nice look rather than clenched up. And then step three is what are they going to do with their face? How are they going to smile? Where are they going to look? Okay, and you can vary that up all in one pose. You can have them in a certain pose, standing up with their hands on their hips. They can smile at you. They can soft smile. They can look away. Vary it up so you're not overwhelmed. Okay, those are the three steps. So we want to end just telling you some things that we really think are important for you to put in your back pocket no matter what. These are things that we always do with our senior girls. So the first thing that we want to tell you that we always do with our senior girls, depending on what pose they're in, but most of the time, especially standing, even sitting somewhat, is to have them twist a little bit at the torso because if they're straight on, they're gonna look wider. If they twist a little bit, it's gonna just give them a more um, slimming effect. Another thing that we tend to do um, in a lot of our posing is we tend to tell them to lean forward. Now, not lean forward where it looks like they're like vomiting all over the floor, but just leaning forward just a tad little bit. Again, it gives it a slimmer look on the rest of their body. And this is especially um, kind of a big deal when they're giggling. If you notice, don't, don't like, say do this just to kind of see what they naturally do when they giggle a lot of times people could do this they go <laughs> rather than ha 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 that way okay so it's a lot more flattering and you don't want that look um another thing we like to make sure to always do when it's possible is put space between the body and the arm because a lot of women do not like how their arms look in pictures so that little bit of space trust us is huge the next one is, oh, I already said this one. Relaxing your fingertips is a really good way to, it just makes it look a lot more natural. And then the last thing that we like to do as we encourage them throughout the whole session and we're talking to them, we like to attempt, we don't always, but we like to attempt to make them giggle because that is always their favorite image in their gallery is the giggle image. So we like to do that as much as we possibly can. So those are things that we always try and do throughout the posing system. All right, so again, remember it's the top model posing system. And again, what, what do we mean by that? We mean put them in the same pose, get their stance set, and then you can vary it up from there with their arms, their hands, their eyes, their lips, their giggles, whatever it might be. So if you look at these images of Abby, when she gets her viewing gallery, you might think, I only did like five poses the entire session, which maybe you did more than that. But let's say you only put her in five stance stances. Well, you're making her move so many times that her gallery is filled with different options for her. So Keep that in mind that the top model posing system is you're varying it up in so many different ways that they're going to have a lot of um, different poses to choose from. Now, hopefully, you know with our simple formula of step one, two, and three, how to pose any senior girl or any woman for that matter at your next session. Okay, we know that it still is a lot spit out you at you one time. And our goal was to keep things simple. So in order to do that, we've created a free download just for you. So we have created a cheat sheet just for you to bring along to your sessions until you have it mastered to keep things just simple and as effective and time-saving as possible. You will find yourself saving a ton of time um, just by keeping to this top model posing system. So you can find the cheat sheet in the link below, but we want to remind you that it's practice, practice, practice. This is how you're going to master this posing system. Okay, so another thing we wanna tell you guys is to um, check out our Instagram, our Facebook, our website, our blogs, all of that kind of stuff for more inspiration on how to pose and how we get the poses to look the most flattering on the females. Those um, uh, Instagram and Facebook and all that kind of stuff are linked down below so you can click on those and start following along.
So what was one point or pose that we mentioned today that has been missing for you? Put your answer below in the comment section. And make sure to download the free cheat sheet. If you found this video helpful today, make sure you subscribe, share with a friend, or hit the like button so we can make more videos just like this. Make sure to check out our next video of some behind the scenes footage from one of our sessions to show you how to pose even better. And we will see you in the next one.